morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Philadelphia News, where we learn what's in the Bible. Barry, this is our 90th episode of What's in the Bible. Woohoo! And we have only made it to the book of 1 Samuel. Yep. <laughs> Bob, you can't rush through the Bible. It's mm. God's holy word to us. We need to take our time and hear what God has to say. That's right. You know, last week we learned one of my favorite Bible accounts, David and Goliath. Wasn't that great? It sure was, Barry. But there's a lot more to the life of David than just that. David's life is full of action. Hmm. Better than any action movie out there. That's right. You know, our lesson today has both action and romance. Oh, After no. David killed Goliath, uh, Saul became more and more jealous of David. He hated the fact that God was with David. He hated him more when all the women came out of the cities and started singing about David. Mm -hmm. They said, Saul has slain his thousands, but David his ten thousand. That's right. Hey, uh, did we get that good video footage of all that Oh, singing? yeah, of course it is. All right. Uh, here it is. Okay, roll that footage. Uh, only a boy named David. Only a rippling rock. Only a boy named David. And five spoons so he talk. And one little stone went in the sling. And the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round! And Oops, uh, I guess I accidentally videotaped over the victory celebration after the defeat of the Philistines. Oh boy. Oh well. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay, so uh, how, how in the world could you do a thing like that? Oh, okay, very, very, very. I interviewed uh, Princess Michael, and she told me all about the wedding plans and how she fell in love with David. Blech. Roll the film! Okay, let's see this footage. Uh, Rose, uh, where's the sound? Uh, oh no, I must have forgotten to turn it on! Oh, oh. oh boy. So what you're telling me is we have no working video of the victory celebration with the princess, or the interview, or any of it! Don't oh. worry, Barry. Rose and I were both there to watch David tell yep. King Saul yep, we that he had slain 200 Philistines. Yeah, okay. he was so brave and strong, Barry. Saul only challenged him to kill 100 Philistines, but David did twice that. Oh, he must have really loved Michael. All right. Uh, here it is. Good. Uh, so, uh, what's wrong with this one? Oh, no. No sound? No... The battery? Oh boy, here it oh How gosh. could you ruin the show like this? Uh, Professionalism is out the window. Quality uh, interview skills out the window. Even basic button pushing skills. I can't believe you do this. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get uh, you. Uh, uh, oh, I can't believe you guys destroyed the video. Over here, over here. Uh, we don't want to get Where'd you go? I'm going to get you! Come back here! Come back here! I'm coming for you! Uh, oh, where'd those guys go? Oh, I can't believe they destroyed the whole show. We're supposed to be professional. Um, Barry, you oh. sound just like King Saul. King Saul? Mm -hmm. oh, what do you mean? The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel 18 that uh -huh. King Saul became outraged at David. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. He had allowed his jealousy to turn into hate. Mm. Well, that's not good. Mm -mm. He even attempted to kill David several times. He tried mm -hmm. to kill him? Mm hmm. Ooh. He knew that David had been chosen as the next king of Israel, and he tried to get rid of David so that his family could hold the throne. Mm. Sadly, 
This is what King Saul is remembered for. Bitterness, jealousy, anger. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to be remembered like that. Mm. I, I, well, I don't want to be angry anymore. Mm-mm. I shouldn't have gotten angry at them. And, well, I don't want anger to destroy me like it did Saul. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Rose! Bob! Now come on out here! I'm sorry I shouldn't have allowed myself to become angry. Oh, will you guys forgive me? I think they're hiding still. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are. Uh, Bob and Rose, uh, will you forgive me? I'm sorry. Yes. I forgive, I forgive you, Barry. Barry. Mm. I shouldn't have got mad at you. Mm-mm. That is much better! With so many exciting things to look forward to now that quarantine is lifting! I can't wait! They wouldn't be half as fun if you were holding on to anger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. That's right. <clears throat> That's right, Sunday School Lady. Saturday, June 13th, children three years old through sixth grade are encouraged to bring their bicycles, rollerblades, roller skates, tricycles, and anything with wheels to join us for exciting competition and fun as we roll around our new church parking Woo! lot. Woo! Anything with wheels? Yeah. Wow. But but don't forget a helmet. It it's required in order to participate. Mm-hmm. Feel free, Dad. Anything extra to pad is necessary. I'm going to wrap myself in bubble wrap. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone, we're out of time. It's been great to have you with us today, and we'll see you all next time for another edition of What's in the Bible. Goodbye.